Hello guys, my name is Sujat and welcome back to Blender Point. This is an update video on Buddy Code for version 4. Let's begin. So what we are going to talk about is for the first time we are going to talk about what is new. So yes guys, we have agentic behavior in Buddy Code now. So at this moment of time we can go ahead and use Buddy Code to write codes, execute them, automatically look for errors and then rewrite them yes that's true and i'll go through an app demo to show you how it happens uh, and we use obviously uh, open source models as well as some proprietary models that allow us to use them uh, so uh, that's the first thing that is new to body code the second thing is tools so tools is basically the way that we are actually going to make these models behave like an agent and that's how we use tools to you know execute code search web and do other things for now we have only one tool which is basically the execution tool but we will be soon working on the other tools as well so now we have a streaming display and here you would be able to see whatever your AI model is actually writing and whatever it is thinking and then again you will be able to obviously look for other you know uh, what are the problems that are that are happening in your uh, you know system while running those code as well so that would be a great help and a great you know uh, insight into the my into the you know how this LLMs work. So having said that we have Olama support, we also have Gemini support if you do not know Olama, Olama hosts a plethora of you know uh, large language models which are open source and for the latest it has Llama 3.1 which has been you know uh, released very soon which is two to three days back and you would be able to use that as well we have updated it for the same as well and i'll show you as i told you i'll obviously show you the demo of it and then we have been trying to you know add the you know experience of using mixture of agents and also mixture of models and how we do it i'll going i'm going to show you that just a, in a few moment as well as we have a new blender scripting template it is basically the same template but with a different touch to it so that you do not get you know uh, very distracted with the other things that blender can do so if you wanted to do some like do other things that are uh, that are not related to blenders you can do that as well using this template and having said that let's go to the next slide so what is the use so the use for body code is as given here you can say that you can see that it has automation you can automate your tasks you know writing blender small uh, lighting like writing blender scripts and doing small tweaks to it using math expressions and writing some codes for it as well you can ask for assistance during your coding and you can also you know talk to it like a regular chatbot then what is the life cycle of this the complete process so the first thing that we would need to do is we would go ahead and give it two briefs which is one an input prompt and the other is a prompt for the system right so users tell AI what they want and as they need right then i have also added research for rag uh, you know it's a way agents gather materials and inspirations from internal database to create personal data or code right you have the rag system you can apply that as well then it would be you know going back to the ideation plan where it will plan and the ai model will build brainstorm on what to do then it would go to execution the it that would be the tool basically that would execute that command and then it will get it will go to a final aggregator we would check if there is an error and then go ahead and 
you know give you back another updated code so that's about it these are the things that uh, it would do in one life cycle so before we go ahead and look at the other slides let's look at a demo so this would be a demo as well as a tutorial for how to use it when actually this gets released so the, as of now it is not really released but i am sure if i get a good amount of comments and a, uh, you know uh, i don't know when it will be released because i am trying to you know go ahead and test it thoroughly before you know releasing it to the public but uh, let me see uh, how soon i can do this but i rest assured but that this would be released pretty soon uh, so without ado uh, let's move ahead and uh, let's look at the demo so i'll just change my scene and go here so i was already i had already started editing the whole thing but the thing is that i did not record my audio for the first time so what you would listen here is a genuine reaction of what happened uh, though i am not going to show you uh, i am not going to show you what happened uh, or i would not be able to uh, tell you what had happened at that time uh, but uh, let's see what happens this time so let's go ahead so as you can see i have this opened uh, already so i already tried it for the first time so let's go ahead and do one thing and delete all the responses and everything and start clean so to start clean i'll go to new and i'll go to body code temp this is the template file that i was talking about it will take a little bit of time so yeah so this is the template file that we are talking about so if you want to install any add on you would go to the add ons please go to install go to the folder that has your code in it and just install it mine was already installed but uh, you can do that uh, so it is here in body code development and you would be able to see it is already installed so we have elm studio as a endpoint olama as a server gemini as a endpoint api server hugging face as well you can use any of them uh, so we will be using olama at the moment uh, because uh, i'm sure if like uh, this is the fastest way that you can you know load and inference through a uh, large language model pretty quickly and it changes you know uh, between models very quickly so that's a plus point for uh, olama so let's go ahead and see what we can do so here you can see all these things right body code body code multiple pages and this is a module installation if you do not have any module you can install it through this so that is a you know a plus thing that has been given anyways so what we are concerned about is this today this is body code multiple pages pairs so here what we can do is we can add pairs we can set a folder path that from where uh, you know you can uh, give it some documents to read upon and it will create a database for it a uh, temporary database for it now you have the database path if you already have a database you can you know go ahead and uh, give it here though if you do not have it that is not an issue you can leave it as it is and you can come to this pairs so you can see i have pair 1 and pair 2 so i can delete them as well and add them as i wish so that's how it is and i can again delete that so at this moment i will only uh, look at you know these two uh as you can see i have pair 1 and pair 2 for the pair 1 what i'll do is i'll copy this one write me a blender script to create 
a cube name default cube right i'll copy this and i'll paste it in the system prompt i'll go ahead and copy this and paste it right as i showed you in the preference as well you can see it is set to llama 3.1 so the first pair whatever pair you have how many number of pairs you have the first pair is always set for the from the uh, you know the preference tab so you'll have to set it from here and it is set at llama 3.1 but the beauty of this project is that you can change your model type in between these pairs as well so that gives you the mixture of model kind of a uh, you know vibe to it or mixture of agent kind of a vibe to it as well so we can change it to any uh, you know inferences you want to so i'll try phi 3 for this so let's go ahead and see what happens and here you can see the input text and the system text right so for this i have this code you are the this is not a code this is just a uh, prompt you are the best technical developer uh, check for errors and then update the code and give the final output else if you if the code works give the exact code as the final code that is the prompt and in the system prompt over here if you would see which i gave here is you are the expert python code coder and the planner of the team create a plan of action and the uh, create a plan of action to produce the relevant code reply with the final code with proper markdowns and all the plans should be in comments of the code itself so that's how it is and as the second one i choose this prompt this is the little bit of the prompt that i'll copy and paste and as you can see i have kept this input as a blank because the output from this pair would come to this pair so it should be blank so everything is done let's go to olama and start it so olama was already started in my system but as you can see if i go to olama if you do not have a uh, uh, you know olama in your uh, computer please download it and then you would uh, go ahead and say olama list to see if you already have uh, a list of models that are already installed you would see these uh, are already installed on my, on my laptop so right now what i am going to do is i have already set up all the things all i need to do is put in olama serve that will start the server but this time you get an error because you already have this olama started from over here so what we need to do is we need to quit olama from here and then start it again like olama serve so now at this moment it is already it has already started so let's go ahead and jump right in and for the last touch what i would ask you to do is just go ahead and click on new and write chat history so that's about it it created three chat histories i don't need three chat histories so i'll delete the others and keep the one and then let's run execute all functions executables pairs with context it is not only with context but it can be run without context as well so let's go ahead and press play before that i almost forgot we need to also toggle this system console on right so it is on right now and we are left to just press this button and i have already pressed it and as you can see the olama has started downloading the all the required mod you know weights and as you can see you can see 
all of it being streamed over here whatever it has been planning and you know let's see what it happens afterwards so let's go ahead and see so as you can see it's already writing the plan and it has started executing the command as well so plan of action is input required modules like bpy then define a function to create the default queue use bpy dot mesh dot primitive underscore cube underscore add to add the cube uh, set the cubes name using object obj dot name and it has already written the code also and uh, it has written a note the script should be run within blender to create a default cube the bpy module is used or interacting with blender and then create that so uh, but the thing is that it will execute the code by itself so for that just wait for a bit see it has uh, started writing another code so that means it has already received an error yes so it has received received the error that there is no active object in the scene because we have not uh, created a scene at the moment so it is not there uh, let's see let's see what happens now it executes it once more and i am sure that yes it's done but it's the same object active object is not there so that is not the models problem the problem is mine so right now there is something odd that is happening i'll see if i can do anything for that so at this moment you are stuck you cannot do anything whatever wherever you click nothing will happen what you need to do is clear you know you need to go ahead and press escape and then you can do whatever you want to do so go to general go to layout so it has made cubes but it has not made the default cube uh, so that is something that is not the model's fault it happened the other time as well uh, i'll give a small uh, clip of it as well if you would uh, like to see uh, now let's go ahead and delete all of it and now we have something in the chat history you would see the chat history is already populated with the code and whatever it wanted to say the plans and everything is there right but the other things that we have is a executed code responses all of them so this was the first response that came through then was this response that came through right and now the executed code this is the code that has been executed so right now i deleted everything i'll just create a plain select it and you know that would be the active object now i'll go ahead and press run so it has done what was needed to be done it ran the script and it created a default cube so that is basically that what happened previously as well but uh, right now i would not be able to show you the same kind of excitement that happened the previous time amazing thing uh, so i hope you would also like this and for that i have also made a road map on what we want to do uh, for this so let's go and check and first of all let me show you what is actually happening behind the you know everything that was being should sure. uh, for this moment i am going to you know stop showing my face so that you can see whatever is written behind so let me just remove that uh here the thing is that you can see the it is an agentic workflow okay and we are also using you know as i've said uh, so what is happening is a input prompt is being given to first bot which is llama 3 an output 
uh, from uh, like the another system prompt is given to the you know first an input prompt and then a system prompt is given then that is transferred to the second one then the third one then it is getting aggregated to the final output and then the final output is been given up so that's what we saw in the demo as well right having said that let's go get back to the road map so as you can see i have already made a road map i started doing this in uh, 2024 for the first time i released buddy code then i released it like updated it on 5th of may then 6th of may i had the version 3 already there and now this is you know me april may june july end basically we are going probably going to august and right now uh, as you can see we already have the version 4 ready but the update is still not available because you know i am trying to test it out and maybe we can do a challenge and we can give give away uh, some of the updates for the first few uh, you know first 4 5 maybe 10 people who would you know we can do a challenge of some thought using blender and maybe we can do something about giving away some of my products as well including buddy code so let's see what we can do about that uh, for now let's hope that everything is uh, like you know we can go about and release it as release these as soon as possible but before we release the version 4 i want to test it regularly rigorously and uh, i would like you to participate as well so for that uh, you know comment below so that we can know that you are excited about this project and as i am as as we are and let's see what we can do about releasing it as of now i wanted to release it uh, as soon as possible but let's see uh, maybe if we ha- get uh, a little bit of response from your comments mainly then we can go ahead and release it in a small testing area and then release it for a bigger space uh, so then uh, thank you thank you for being a part of buddy code and if you're watching this uh, thank you very much thanks a lot uh, this was the thank you